guys, it's Sam, and today I'm gonna to talk about my 2018 personal goals. So I've already done a full video on my reading and booktube related goals on my other channel, so I'll link that down below. But this was voted on as my Patreon pick for video pick for this month. So thank you to my Patreon supporters who voted on this topic that they wanted to see. Every month I do run a poll for a video topic that will be either on this channel or my other channel, and my Patreon supporters get to vote on that. They also get to vote on a book I'll read and review that month. So if you're interested, I will link my Patreon on the screen for you to check out. So you're probably like, wow Sam, it's almost March, why are we talking about 2018 goals? This is something for the beginning of the year. But I kind of waited for this for two reasons. One is that I have a thing that I'm kind of doing that's a little bit different than a New Year's resolution type thing because I'm a big believer in goal setting that is small and manageable and that you don't just have to start setting goals at the beginning of the year. In fact, even last year I had some goal type videos and some like challenges and stuff towards the end of the year and I think you can start doing any of these goals at any time. So I kind of wanted to show some of my progress on some of the goals I've already done and kind of how I'm looking at my year overall goal wise. So these goals are mostly going to be like fitness and health related goals. I have been working out fairly consistently since last April and I have been active in the gym on and off for like a couple of years now. So these are my more concrete fitness goals. I feel like I finally have a grasp on what I'm doing as far as that and this is like very much just health related in general are a lot of these goals and I will talk a little bit about just like online goals and stuff like that but that's going to be the main focus. I'm also just mostly discussing goals that I know are achievable but not a given. So for example, a goal of mine this year is to get done with class and graduate with my master's. That is for sure happening. There is like nothing that can prevent that from happening. I am doing, I have a 4.0, I'm doing incredibly well in my classes, my internship is going to be done very soon in May of this year, and I'm done with class in August and I'm graduating in September, that is happening. So it's not exactly like a goal I want to discuss because it's like, that's happening. Like that's just, it's just getting there. So it is a goal of mine to get there, but I just have to plug through, you know, knuckle down and get there. So these are more things that I have to kind of like work towards and goals that I'm setting for myself kind of month to month for the most part. I'll get into that. So one thing related to this channel is one of my online goals, like really my only online goal right now, because I kind of will change some things throughout the year as I get more availability and stuff as far as like graduating and everything. But right now my goal is to post one video a month on this channel. So I would like to do more, but the minimum is one video a month on this channel. So that's probably going to be at least the Patreon pick, if not another one. So I want to get more consistently uploading on this channel. I like that I was uploading here on like for Vlogmas and stuff, and I want to be uploading here more frequently, which I will a lot more when I'm done with school, but again, time, blah, blah, blah. So then I want to talk about like my fitness goals. So if you guys don't know, I do weightlift. Weightlifting is my preferred method of exercise. I do also walk the dog every day for like three miles or so, even in any weather mostly. Sometimes not rain and snow, but like most weather. So that's a thing, but for most of my fitness stuff, it's all weightlifting. And I do kind of cycle between a powerlifting type program when I don't have a lot of time, which is right now, which is like a three day a week full body, mostly just the compound lifts, so the stuff with the barbells. And then in the times when I have more time or even like towards the summer when I want more of a aesthetics based routine a little bit more even though you can get good aesthetics from both but a more aesthetics based routine that I switch to more bodybuilding type stuff. I don't take any supplements. I don't do anything special for those kinds of routines. It's just the way that I lift the weights is different depending. So, but most of my stuff is mostly focused on strength regardless and hitting kind of strength markers. So here's some stuff about that. So I wrote down my lift numbers in the big lifts at the beginning of the year so that I could kind of track them throughout. I didn't decide until very recently kind of which ones I had goals for because some of them aren't as important as other ones, some of them I don't train as often and I just don't care to get to a certain marker, like they, they don't matter to me, but some of them do. So as of the beginning of the year, I deadlifted 160 pounds. At the end of the year, I'm hoping to get to 225 pounds. That is 1.75 times my body weight at the beginning of the year, and I think my body weight will kind of change throughout the year as I build muscle and stuff, but that's just kind of my marker that I'm setting regardless of how my body weight changes. But that would be like 1.75 percent of my body weight and I think that'd be fucking awesome. Then my squat is at 115 right now which is abysmal but I have not been training squats lately and squats are a huge mental block for me, barbell squats. 
I cycle through when I do them and not when I do them. I hit a major roadblock mentally with it and I think that I'm not going to progress on squats until I get an actual trainer and I'm not going to get a trainer until I move to an area that has a powerlifting gym, but it is something that I want to do in my future. So I don't think I'm going to progress on squats that much and I'm not going to set myself a goal and then just like fail getting to it because I think the highest I've ever squatted was like 135, 140 and my, it's a mental block. It's totally a mental block. I could squat more than that. I could squat that but I just, I can't mentally, so. This one's tough, and this is my bench press. So bench is at 70 pounds, or it was at 70 pounds at the beginning of the year, and my goal is to get to 100, oh, which I have never, ever, ever done. So years ago when I was doing more powerlifting too, and I had a friend, so I had someone who could uh, spot me, I probably, I think I got up to 90 pounds on bench press, and that's when I was eating just whatever I wanted. So I was eating at a caloric surplus so that you are better able to gain muscle. I mean, you gain muscle when you're eating at a surplus of calories. So that's when I was doing that because I wasn't tracking what I was eating whatsoever. And I don't know what's going to happen with that. I would love to get to 100 pounds. I've been stalled at like 75, 80 for months. And it's mostly because I won't ask for a spotter at my gym, which I need to do. But that's a goal because and the other one is overhead press, which is, you know, overhead barbell press. That is one that has been historically my, like, worst lift, but I also like doing it a lot. And it's at 55 pounds, and it's at 55 pounds right now, too, but it was at 55 at the beginning of the year. I progress horribly on it. I have micro plates that I'm trying to help bump up my weight on that, but my hope is to get to 80 by the end of the year. We will see. And then my bent over barbell row is at 110. I haven't been training that though either and I kind of switch up my back exercises. I have a pretty strong back so I've been switching up my back exercises and I don't really have a goal for that one because rowing doesn't matter to me that much as much as like the deadlifting and the benching and stuff like that. Like those are ones, those three, the deadlift, the overhead press, and the bench press, if those have higher numbers I will feel so badass. So those are my weightlifting strength goals. So the biggest part of this whole video as far as my goals for the year are actually my monthly goals and this is how I've been doing it and I've been really successful so far and this is just about health goals. I might do some fitness related stuff related to these but I'm breaking my goals into months and focusing a lot on those goals, that one goal that's health related that month and that is food, sleep, all, whatever. And I will tell you what some of them are so far because I've already started doing this. I did this for January, I'm doing it in February and I already have March planned. But I'm focusing on a simple, fairly simple, straightforward one health goal at a time and implementing that all month. And then that I've set that habit and it rolls into the next month. And so far that's been really successful and I'm really excited about it. So for January, my goal was to drink 48 ounces of water a day. So I carry around a hydro flask, which I showed in my 2017 favorites, and that I drink two of those a day usually, but one and a half of those is my goal. And I was really good about doing this in January, and it was an easy goal to hit. It also allowed me to feel more full throughout the day, so I wasn't eating a ton of junk, and just being better hydrated in general makes me feel a lot better. I don't notice, like, huge boons and like my skin is so much better although I do think my skin's better but like I, I'm not saying that like water heals everything but I think that there was a lot of times that I was eating when I was thirsty because I was barely drinking any water I also was drinking a ton of soda not like a ton but I was drinking a can of soda a day and I just don't do that really anymore and I think the water is why. But here's my bullet journal page and how I'm tracking kind of my 2018 goals so I have my monthly ones written out and then I am tracking that at the end of the month in my like monthly spreads kind of how I do on those goals and I will track like I'll track each one as the months go on. This is kind of how my January looked and so I track like my percentage of how I did and what my goal was and how many times I hit that goal because I track it every day in my bullet journal and with water I hit it 93.5 percent of the time of the days so that was thumbs up completely awesome and great. So my goal is an 80-20 kind of thing so I want to hit whatever goal it is I set for that month 80 percent of the time and 20% of the time things can happen and whatever,
but I want to hit it at least 80% of the time. And so far that's been really successful, so I've been really happy with that. This month's goal, you probably saw when I showed you the page, but this month's goal for February is to be in bed by 1am. I am a chronic night owl, I have always had a horrible sleep schedule, and I sometimes was getting to bed at like 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning and then having to get up for work and it's just abysmal. So I am done doing that and I have been getting into bed by 1. I have had a couple days in here, it hasn't been as successful as the water where I haven't been able to do that, but based on other things, I've been hanging out with friends or I've had to get stuff done or whatever. But overall, I'm striving to get to bed by that time, which means I'm also getting up earlier and able to get up earlier, like for going to the gym or something. I'm just feeling more refreshed and not always getting to bed and being asleep by 1 a.m. because that's not my goal for this month. My goal for this month is just to be in bed by 1 a.m. So that might be one that I'm having to repeat again later on in the year. Like these are goals that could come back around if I start stumbling on them or maybe things I want to be more strict about. Like maybe later on in the year I'll be like, okay, I'm consistently in bed by 1 a.m. but I want to be asleep by 1 a.m. and kind of doing that kind of thing. So I don't plan, I haven't planned out the whole year but I kind of plan on what the coming months are going to be. So for March, it is going to be upping my vegetables in particular, my leafy greens. So what I've been doing is I've been kind of already starting to implement whatever the next month's goal is a little bit into the previous month. So right now I'm already starting to kind of try to find ways to get more vegetables in every day because it's going to be like a concrete goal in March. And I did the same thing with kind of getting to bed a little bit earlier in January in preparation for February. So I kind of plan the month in advance, but not too far in advance. I don't know what my goal needs to be, kind of what my schedule is going to fit, what kind of strategies I need to look into, whatever. So this has been my health goal way of doing things this year because it's not New Year's resolutions. It's very manageable. It's slow and steady winning the race kind of thing and it's been super successful so far and I've already implemented some really good habits and I'm really excited about it. So I wanted to do something where like I could tie this in and this could be something that if you guys are interested in doing the same thing we could kind of do it together. I wasn't sure how to do that though and I still haven't quite figured that out or if you guys are even interested in that. If you guys want to do some kind of accountability thing because I do have some things that I do through Reddit because Reddit is something that I also do and that is a social media type platform and I have been involved with some like health accountability things on there. So I think that's really helpful and I'm not sure if there's anything that any of you guys would want to do through like a discord chat or something like that but I'm open to those ideas maybe even doing it later on in the year when I have a little more free time or whatever but Comment down below me on something that you'd be interested in and then let me know if you have a similar way of doing goals, kind of what your goals are for this year, if you have any health related goals. Those are my biggest things right now is just to be as like healthy as possible and just like eat vegetables and fruits and drink more water and get more sleep and just like the simple things you're supposed to do that if I try to do all of them at once I would totally fail but implementing them a little bit at a time is making it so much easier for me and so much more fulfilling and so much more motivating. So comment below and know all of the things about your goals this year, how you're doing, if you had any resolutions that have kind of petered off on or if you stuck with it or all the things about goals. I like talking goals. Comment below and let me know. And at the end of the year I'll be doing a wrap up kind of of all my monthly goals and how my strength goals went and everything else too. So you will get to kind of see how I did during this year's vlogmas at the end of the year. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!